Hello, this is Shannon Sorrow. In this segment, I'll introduce you to the concepts of fans, fandom, fan fiction, and other fan practices for language learning, and then share research on a particularly successful second language user of English who entered fandom with the deliberate goal of developing her English, including her vocabulary. But first, it's necessary to provide a bit of background on some key terms. I'll start with fans. When I talk about fans and fandom, I'm often asked what it means to be a fan. Fan studies, a subfield of cultural studies, provides a good source of definitions. Here's one I particularly like. The term fan now covers a wide range of ordinary people who have a positive emotional engagement with popular culture. That engagement may take the form of connection with the text, image, performance, or creative signature of a public figure. It might include love for a particular cultural form or genre. In his excellent ethnography about fans of the songwriter and singer Bruce Springsteen in the late 1990s, Savici provides another definition that highlights the cultural component of being a fan, which is actually a much wider social category referring to a mode of participation with a long history in a variety of cultural activities, including literature, sports, theater, film, and television. In both definitions, there's reference to culture, which many might think of as the food, clothes, and traditions a society has. But a more nuanced definition of culture also recognizes the ideas, customs, skills, art, and tools that characterize a given group of people in a given period of time. Culture, therefore, includes high art as well as popular art and media, and the equipment and plays associated with sport, for example. By extension, it therefore includes the vocabulary needed to talk about these things. This broader definition also recognizes that culture can belong to groups of people and not just whole societies. This includes communities of fans. Fans have been around long before the internet, but Web 2.0 technologies, including many social media sites, have helped lead to the growth of online communities of fans known as fandoms. Online fandoms, therefore, are the local and international networks of fans that develop around a particular program, text, or other media product, and which foster the sharing of responses to the source material, including the production of novel fan-generated content. Within these online fandoms, fans engage in a great deal of interaction and many different, often creative, fan practices, perhaps the best known of which is fan fiction also defined as writing that continues, interrupts, reimagines, or just riffs on stories and characters other people have already written about. However, fan fiction is only one of the social media practices that can engage learners and therefore expose them to new vocabulary. In this study of a fan, we'll see other fan practices that also lead to vocabulary learning. <laughs> 